case you didn't see from yesterday, I crashed the Jeep into the ground. Of all things, the ground is what I crashed into. Lucky for me, most of the damage is cosmetic. The biggest thing I'm upset about is actually the glass that busted because I just got that replaced. It's also probably going to be the most expensive fix. As far as the fender goes, I'm going to have to get some paint on it, at least to get rid of the exposed metal. I tried to ding it out this morning, try to clean it up the best I could, but it's still kind of warped. So the Jeep looks a little crooked and it's kind of leaning on one end and stuff. The bumper took most of the impact. Luckily, I didn't break anything major, as well as the plastic crate on top. I actually broke a hole inside of that. Um, unfortunately, it was too dark to film anything. So last night, we were going through the trail to get to the arches. I found out there's a free trail to get through. This is the trail leading into the arches. We just entered Arches National Park and we're trying to get to all the fancy, pretty landmarks. Well, we were coming back from this trail last night and in case you don't know, the headlights on my Jeep are terrible. Like you, you can't see anything. They probably need adjusted on top of that. So I need to get them adjusted and I definitely would like to upgrade to LEDs. I think it would save my life. But until then, I was working with what I had. My dad really wanted to go to Hell's Revenge and it was too late to go there, but I told him we could go down this trail. We ended up getting halfway down it before turning around and deciding we're gonna go in the morning. I was pulling ahead and I was pretty confident that I already knew the terrain, except for when I got to this part. Driving through here, I headed this direction and like I said before, I couldn't see anything. I saw, I thought this was the road to get in, but then I realized that it's actually right there. However, with my line of view, it looked like right here, I could go down. If you see right over here, it would be easy drop down, just roll down, climb up. I would just take a right from here and get back on the road. That's what I thought was gonna happen. I ended up turning right in here and immediately head planted right there. If you can see the broken rocks right there, that, that's where my Jeep landed. So that was damage to the Jeep, but um, luckily, as far as mechanics go, it seems to be doing okay. Nothing's broken. That shackle from that weld held up really good, so that's all good. what Kenzie was so scared about. I guess it had something to do with heights. This is, that's the arches right there. This is me. I mean, I'm not scared of heights, so. I guess that's her fear, her paranoia. Look at that though. That is incredible, just that whole background. Feels hollow. Ooh, it's flaking apart. I'm destroying the Arches National Park. Delicate Arches at Arches National Park. Dad wanted to go to the, what, what were the other arches called? Like bridge Arches or something? Or Bridge something? There's another place you can go to that's not a hike. You're actually off-road there. But uh, I wanted to go. Yeah, okay, so, so we're gonna go to that another day. But I thought we'd have enough time to go to both, but the trail, the hike all the way up here was a really long hike. You can't see your car from here, so. Yeah, it's really far. <laughs> So, I didn't record any of the hike coming up here though, because um, I had like 27% battery on my GoPro and I couldn't find the charger because I think it got yeeted somewhere after I wrecked. So, it's somewhere in the Jeep, maybe. And I wasn't able to charge the camera. Gonna have to find that later. I'm down to 10% battery now, still trying to get the video, but 
it was hard to get a time lapse because there were so many people and there was no clouds, but it was still fun. I got some cool pictures. Whoop. Oh, you watch you. No, I, 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 I slipped on dust. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> ha,